Hello, this is an assessment of a Bluth the Grand Piano made in 1870. Now it's 85 notes and as you know most Bluthners are 88 notes but these older ones and a lot of pianos of that age 18, 85 notes. So I can't get further back on this piano because uh, there's not enough room but you see the interesting pedal system there that they've got and a lot of pianos uh, makes the piano did this uh, sort of round uh, circular piece on top of the pedals. This desk is really similar to, to later Blutners, and um, to give you some idea, there's probably, uh, for every one of these, there's at least a hundred Blutners that are, that are later, say, 1885 plus, so uh, really this is quite unusual. It's about the third one I think I've seen in my whole career of uh, dealing in pianos. This key top here is a very bad match, as you can see. It'll be difficult to get a good match because the others are so yellowed, but we can probably do it a lot better than that. And there's some chips on some of these too. Again, um, it's going to be hard to, to repair those, I think, um, because of the way they're chipped, but um, do what we can. Well, the casework is uh, in pretty poor condition. Apparently, piano's been in the school, and so it's generally scratched, and uh, the only solution to that is fully repolishing. It's missing its... Uh, uh, knob that was used in the days when they used to put pianos on trucks and therefore you had to secure the lid. And the fishtail design at the back, uh, nice turned legs as well as the lyre being very attractive, so the legs are. This is a 5 foot 9 blue, 175 centimetres. Um, there are plenty of 5 foot 9 uh, style 5 and 6 bluteners which are uh, later pianos and much more reliable. The main problem with this one uh, is not the piano is not well made, it's just that it's lost lost its down bearing here. You could replace the soundboard, but um, obviously there's a lot of commitment that The dampers, as you can see, are very sh are very small compared to, they don't look so small on the video, but I can assure you they're about half the length of a normal damper, or at least um, uh, certainly more or less half the length, and they don't dampen so well. Partly because on this one, they're not regulated, that's not regulated properly anyway, but it's not big enough to, might be able to, probably can get much better damping than that with a lot of work, but but it's going to be harder to work on them, obviously. And down there, they're probably not heavy, uh, no, they're not nearly heavy enough either. These bass strings have gone very tubby. It's been restrung and the work generally well done, nice and tidy. These tuning pins are oversized pins, so uh, the next time it was restrung, you'd have to change the tuning block here. You notice the way it slopes in that direction. And if you can catch the slope on here, the frame, as you can see, has got cosmetic problems. Um, but it, the, the tuning block sloping that way, and uh, instead of being flat, and that's common with this age of piano. Now, it has to be restrung. Um, the work done on the piano generally quite well. Uh, these are oversized tuning pins now. I think if we we were to restore it, we'd probably have to take um, uh, put a new rest plank, and it slopes that way. The rest plank. I don't know if you can see that. The frame obviously got cosmetic problems. Um, in this case, I think the client would prefer just to make it a good musical instrument, but you've got a problem uh, cosmetically if you're going to try and improve that. See how much dust there is. I've just uncovered the B of Blutner. I presume it's Blutner in the middle there. Um, different different decal system from the decal you usually get on this side here with the serial number underneath it, but the serial number on this one is back here. Also, of course, inside the piano, as all Blutners have. And you see this frame style. Uh, this is on... Uh, other pianos that also of this kind of age, as well as Blutner, did this kind of star uh, style of fr frame style. It's really, really, really attractive. Um, sorry, not star style, but it, you know what I mean. It's not not the normal circular uh, holes that you get later on. Um, there's lots of features that are very pretty on it. Front rails on these older Blutners push downwards like that. They have uh, cleats under, underneath them to hold them on, and they push off like that. Felts here are good, not moth-eaten, though strangely enough that one's missing altogether. Interesting to note, this has a patent action, um, just like a modern blue, uh, sorry, just like the patent action blue, and up to about 1925. Interestingly, I did see one of a similar age of this, and it, it didn't have a patent action, it had more like a um, slightly, slightly underdeveloped roller action. Uh, but this patent action is actually identical, I think, in, in geometry as well, of what you got up to 1925. So it was obviously designed about 19, uh, 1870. Um, so looking at the, at the rest of the action, the hammers, they're a bit heavy. Uh, the touch is heavy. 
um, and they're, as you see, quite well played, well worn. And also the hinges here, uh, they're, beginning, they're wor working a bit loose, which means the hammers will wobble around and then they'll wear more, also make a bit of noise. So that will all need doing. Um, difficult decisions to make on this piano because uh, if we're fully restoring it, obviously um, that's a different decision. But because of the tone of the piano uh, being a bit patchy, uh, it might be best to go down the other road of doing what works necessary or possibly just changing the piano and, uh, and getting a younger Blutner that's more standard and it's going to produce the kind of results we expect. Whenever we work on something a bit out of the ordinary, it always takes longer uh, than, than we would take on otherwise. So um, uh, I think these might be recovered actually, uh, hammers. In fact, I'm sure they're recovered, you can tell, tell looking here. So th these have been recovered by um, felt being put on top of the original wood and it's too, they're too soft now. Recovering tends to be a bit on the soft side. You can see my finger, thumb nail going into those. Um, that would never happen on new hammers. Interesting, these very, very old springs working perfectly. It's amazing how the Blutner springs uh, last and last. I was talking about this spring here. And it's adjusted, so <coughs> as, you, as it checks, it's not checking actually, but let's try that one. It comes up afterwards. If I release it, release the check by taking my finger off the key a bit, and it pops upwards. That's remarkable, isn't it, for the age of the spring. Uh, it's hard to believe, but that the metal, no metal fatigue, still working perfectly well. So that's a, a Blut Le Grand piano, five foot nine inches long, uh, and uh, made in 1870, which is very, very old for a Blut. And as I say, only about one in, say, a hundred, and that would be an exaggeration uh, of this style. It's still adapting to certain things, extremely well made, but um, around here, You've, you, you lost down bearing. The hammers are quite a mess, really. And there's recovered hammers, they're too heavy, so they don't feel very nice. And uh, I think changing the hammers definitely will be something that's necessary. Amazingly, the tuning pins are reasonably tight, and the stringing was done very well, but the, the bass is getting a bit tubby now. Not sure when the stringing was done, perhaps in the 20s or even earlier. And uh, so there's positive things to say about the piano, but I think if you're going to restore a Blutner and you want a really good piano, I would choose a, a standard one from the, say, 1885 onwards, or possibly a little earlier than that, but not 1870, when it's still not quite fully formed in terms of the, what you expect a Blutner to be, but very reliable pianos later on. And this would be reliable, it's just going to have a few idiosyncrasies about it. Dampers are a bit small as well. So the hammers are far too podgy. And it doesn't have that nice lush tenor you get in the younger Bluners. Thank you very much for listening.